Hi guys, it's uh, Sam for Digital Meet, and in in this tutorial, um, I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, an Xbox controller for use within Unity, and that's with um, its uh, first-person character controller. So let's get stuck in. I suppose I've opened up Unity. I'm going to create a new project. Uh, let's just call this um, Xbox. controller something like that yeah that looks good to me it's a 3d project um, let's just create it here we go boom 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 brilliant okay right so I suppose first things first we're gonna need to go to assets import package and then go down to characters we'll hit that I'm just going to import everything, so it's faffing around. Bam, 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 bam. And this will take a second. Also, we're going to need a surface for um, for us to move around on, I suppose. Da, 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 da. Okay, good stuff. Um, so if you go up to create here and go to the 3D object, I'm going to choose a plane. Um, the default material here is standard. Um, we can't actually change change anything there because we actually need to. Uh, let's just create a new folder quick. Uh, create folder. I'm going to call this materials. Brilliant. And then within that folder, select it. Create uh, material. Okay. So yeah, there we go. We've got a standard material now. Let's just call this floor um, and I'm just going to make this, I don't know, like a nice, I say nice, like a green color, that'll do. And uh, can we apply that to our plane? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Okay, um, so we've got our plane. I'm going to rename this floor. And then I'm going to create a few boxes around. So uh, actually, I'm going to make my floor a little bit bigger. So let's just make the size of this two. Um, and then I'm going to, going to create a cube, 3D cube. Let's pull that up a little bit. Okay, and maybe put these out on the outskirts. So I'm going to select that Control C, Control V a couple of times, just so we've got a few cubes in our. our seen then it's just so when we're walking around the scene we can actually tell we are we are moving so um i'm just gonna bang a few of these in that'll do that'll do nicely there we go okay there we go then okay this main camera we're gonna put a, ca a character controller in here in a minute uh, so this main camera isn't needed we can get rid of this so that's fine um, we can also can I create a null object I can create an empty object and I'm just going to call this cubes and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag all of these as children of our cubes so it doesn't clutter up our uh, hierarchy era area okay now I'm going to open up the standard assets go down to characters open that up open up first person character go to prefabs and then we've got this FPS controller I'm just going to dump that in our scene um, as you can see you can't see it there and it's because of its location for some reason its position isn't central so I'm just going to pop that in the middle and just pull it up a little bit yeah, it's above the ground there. So if we hit play, you can see that uh, I can move around. Um, I'm using the mouse to do that. And you can also see that I can move around using the WS, uh, WASD keys. Now, I've actually got my Xbox controller plugged in. Now, if I try and move around with this, uh, we have actually got some movement on the left thumbstick nothing on the right thumbstick um, nothing on the triggers nothing like that 
Um, so that's what we need to set up. So I'm just going to press escape and stop this from playing. And where we'll do that is if you go to edit, project settings, and then input, we've got our axes here. Now there's a lot going on here. Um, and you can set up for both. So you could have mouse controls and uh, controller, uh, Xbox controller. I'm just going to set my axes to zero so it gets rid of all that information. And then I'm going to, we're going to need nine, I think. Um, so let's have a look. As you can see, they've all been, uh, their name names are defaulted back to element zero to eight. So I'm actually going to change the name of this to, um, well, the name for this first one, I'm going to call horizontal. So horizontal. Well, that's good. And um, this actually represents our, our left thumbstick. Now, if I was to write left, uh, left thumb, thumbstick in here, um, it wouldn't work with this FPS controller because this uh, the script in this controller is looking for an input named um, horizontal. So to make sure that um, that actually happens, I can name this horizontal. In my descriptive name, I could put left, uh, left thumb, and then horizontal so I know that that is attributed to the left thumbstick so I can do that okay these settings for your axes um, so your your thumbstick um, you want your gravity to be zero your dead zone this is quite important because obviously uh, your thumbstick um, it's got to have a dead zone because um, if your thumbstick is slightly off center, you'll get movement and you don't want that. So you've got to kill that movement, um, before it gets to absolute zero. So you need a dead zone. I usually make it 0 0.19. That should do us. The sensitivity should be one. And, um, here we go. Type. The type should be joystick axes which is evident. The axis should be X, that's correct. So X, yep. And uh, the joystick number, this is if you had multiple players, so you'd have to set up this several times for player one, two, three, whatever. But uh, in this scenario, I'm just gonna leave it, get motion from all joysticks. That's fine for what we're doing. Okay, so let's test this then. Press play, I'm gonna pick up my controller. Um, I've actually got no movement in my um, uh, left thumbstick, and I've got a feeling there's a very good reason for that. So let's escape. I'm going to come out of this. Uh, let's have a look. So let's go back to our input. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's our horizontal. We've got an argument exception. Input axis mouse X is not set up. No, we haven't set that up yet. Um, okay, that's reoccurring. Lovely. So we'll clear that. So maybe it needs everything set up first. Let's, tr let's just try that again. Yeah, it looks like it needs to be set up. So let's stop that. That's our horizontal. So this is our left left thumb uh, thumbstick um so the next thing we're going to need is our vertical so where is the next one which is element one we need to name this uh, you guessed it vertical okay same again zero for the gravity um just open this up i'm going to put a uh, left thumb vertical so this is just so you can keep track of what what's going on really let's 
so that's left thumb horizontal, left thumb vertical, same, same thing, it's going to be gravity zero, the dead zone needs to be 0.19, uh, sensitivity is one, um, the joystick axes, um, it is the Y axis for this one. If you're wondering where I'm getting this information from, there's actually a page you can go to on the Unity Wiki, Xbox 360 controller. And if we scroll down to this picture, this is on Windows, obviously I'm using a PC. Um, it actually numbers all the buttons here. And uh, obviously here's the uh, left thumbstick and it's showing me that the Y axis is an up and down and the x-axis is left and right, so that's where I'm getting this information from. Um, okay, so back to it. So, for the vertical, we know it's y-axis, and get motion from all joysticks, that's fine. Um, and what we actually want to do is click this invert button, because if you don't, it means that when you push up on the left thumb stick, you'll go backwards and when you push down you'll move forwards which is counterintuitive obviously so if you click this invert it'll swap them over um, and I think we're still going to get an exception well there you go I can move left and right and I can move forwards and backwards now and if I'm using the right thumbstick obviously no movement because we haven't filled out that field yet so that'll be our next thing to do I'm just going to Come out of that. Oh. Let's go to edit, uh, project settings, input. Um, you'll notice that when I click off of this, um, I lose it. But there's a little lock thing up here, and if I click that, it locks locks it. So it doesn't matter what I click on, um, this will stay put, which is quite handy. So I'm just going to lock that so it doesn't disappear. So we've got horizontal and vertical sorted. The next element, um, this is going to be our right thumbstick. But again, the FPS controller is expecting uh, mouse X. So let's type that in, mouse X. Um, and same story again, uh, the gravity is zero. The dead zone is uh, 0.19, that's, that's what I like to do anyway. Um, the sensitivity, I'm going to keep to 1. The type is, you guessed it, joystick axis. And the axes, if we check this, uh, it's the fourth axis for the horizontal, for the right thumbstick. So, uh, fourth axis. There we go. And get motion from all joysticks. That'll do for now. So we might as well set up the... Uh, well, actually, uh, let's just give it a descriptive name. So, uh, this is going to be right thumb um, horizontal. I think it's horizontal anyway. Let me check. Yep, so the fourth axis is the horizontal for the right thumb stick. Um, so, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Let me just check over it. Yep, that looks good to me. And then for the same thumbstick, we're going to have to call this mouse Y. And give it a descriptive name of right thumb vertical. And again, gravity is zero. The dead zone is... Uh, 0.19 sensitivity is one and again just like the other thumbstick we're gonna to have to click this invert button otherwise when you push up to look up you'll actually look down and when you push down you'll look up so if we invert that that'll be fine uh, the type again is a joystick axis and the axis is fifth axis joystick and again that's what it says here fifth for the vertical so that's fine, uh, get motion from all joysticks for now. So let's just give that a little test. Right, so using our joystick, we can move forwards and backwards, and now we can look around as well. And we can use them both in conjunction with each other. 
Wonderful. Okay. So next. Um, the next one. Element 4. Right. So now I'm going to deal with... Let's do the triggers. Okay. So I'm going to say left... Trigger again because it's uh, it's like the um, I'm just going to take a drink. Excuse me. It's like the thumbsticks in the same respect that it's not like a button where it's just on or off, a one or a zero. There's gradients, so a trigger maybe at 0 0.1, 0 0.5. You know, it's it hasn't got just two states. It's a gradient. So it'll be like these, uh, uh, like the thumbsticks, they have a gradient too. So again, the uh, gravity is zero. The dead zone is, I don't know, let's keep it 1.9. I mean, they're a bit stiff as so you probably don't need to make this dead zone as harsh as that, but hell, I'm going to do it anyway. So the type is another joystick axis. The axis for this is actually, um, let's check. I think it's ninth. Let's have a look. Um, third trigger. Third axis triggers. Um, well, actually, I know from I, I know from experience that um, the left trigger is the ninth axis joystick. And get all motion from joysticks. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Um, so that's the left trigger sorted with. We don't need to put a descriptive name because we've called it left trigger. Um, so for the next one, we're going to do right trigger. Same thing again. Dead zone. I realise this is getting a bit repetitive now. Um, joystick axes, and for this, this is the tenth um, axis joysticks get all motion from uh, get motion from all joysticks so that's our right trigger setup now obviously if i press play here we have our movement sorted and if i press the, um, the triggers they don't actually do anything because the first person controller i'll just come out of this the f this first person controller um it's not looking for the trigger buttons to do anything um, now I, I'm actually going to assign a function to the trigger buttons in another tutorial. We're just going to do the um, the actual Xbox controller setup now, and then I'm going to show you how you can um, have those triggers do something using Playmaker. So that'll be for another tutorial. But um, let's just get through the input first. So we've got a trigger set up, even though they're not assigned anything yet. Uh, okay, next I'm going to do the X button. So let's call this X button. Okay, and we're gonna, let's see. Right, this time the gravity is gonna be 1000. Uh, the dead zone is gonna be zero because it's a button. It's either got a one and, uh, on and off state. The sensitivity, this is gonna be 1000. Be again, because it's got, it's either on or it's not. Okay, so let's have a look at our little picture again. Um, what did I say this was? The uh, X button. So we can see here that it's two. Um, so what is this? This is a key or mouse button. Yep, so that's correct. Axes, we don't need one. Um, okay, yep. So in the positive button, we can see here that it's actually two. Let's have a look at our... Uh, so these are the axes. Let's have a look at the button. Okay. Buttons. X button is two. For Windows, it's it's just two. Okay, but I think you actually have to write in there, if I remember rightly. We can test this. I think you actually have to put joystick button two in. So 
Let's get back to Unity. So in the positive button, you want to write joystick button two, exactly like that. And then that's the X button set up. Right, for element seven. Right, I want this to be my jump button and I want my jump button to be A. Um, now again, if I write A button, um, this FPS controller is already set up with a jump and it's looking for, yeah, you guessed it, jump. So what I'm gonna type in here is jump. Uh, for the descriptive name, I'm gonna type A button. Because at least I know, you know, it gives me a clue then. Same same as the other button, uh, actually in positive button here, I'm gonna uh, just copy that in. But instead of joystick button two, in this case, it's actually gonna be zero. So let's exchange this for zero. Um, the gravity is going to be 1000. Dead zone is zero. Sensitivity, that's going to be 1000 as well. This is a key or mouse button and the rest of these you can just leave alone because that's fine. So now we've got a jump button assigned. So let's test that out. Let's hit play. Okay, so I can move around. I can look at my feet, all the rest of it. Press the A button. Hey, we got a jump. So the jump button works. Okay, so that's good. And obviously uh, you're gonna need to use your other buttons, um, your Y button, your B button, and they will all be, the, they'll be set up the same as this X button, pretty much. And, um, and then we can start to look into how to, so this X button that I set up, I typically want to use that as a use button. So, so I wanted to click on a door and open it up. I could do that, or I could pick an item up or something like that. I'd want it as a use button. Um, but obviously this uh, controller doesn't have anything in it that says when, you know, when you press the X button, it does something. So we can actually build that ourselves. And that's what I'm going to go over in the next tutorial. But as you can see, we've set up our Xbox controller now, so we can actually move around our scene. We can jump at least. Um, there's, uh, if you set up a B button, obviously that's not going to be attached to anything, but I'm just going to unlock this. But what we could do is, say we wanted the B button to be a crouch. If we go into our FPS controller, if we click on this, we can see that we have... Um, let's have a look. Da -da 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 -da. There should be a field in here for uh, height. That's the audio source, character controller. Here we go, so our height here, we could say that when we press the B button, it cuts this value in half or something along those lines. So we're gonna be looking at that, um, doing that in Playmaker in uh, the next tutorial about setting up the controller. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope that was of some use. Um, don't forget to visit the website and uh you know like my videos on youtube um great that's it bye